Okay, this is us leaving South Africa. I've got about 29 odd hours to get to Washington. Let's go, baby. Okay, well, we've made it to Seattle. I have been traveling for 32 something hours to get here. And uh, yeah, feeling good. Could be worse. Best job I ever had. Welcome to Washington State. I'm at the Ultimate Reloader Ranch with Gavin Gear. We're here for the inaugural Rock Chuck Olympics. It's going to be a super fun three days of shooting. We'll do some theoretical stuff today. We've got Eric Cortina, we've got F Class John, we've got other John from the Gun Collective, we've got Nils from Team Canic, we've obviously got Gavin from Ultimate Reloader, we've got Jim from Backfire. There are so many cool people here, and we're sort of doing a competition, but none of us really know what's going to happen in this competition. We're very much in the dark today there will be some theoretical stuff happening with like some training things I'm doing some precision rifle training with the guys then we'll go out up on the mountain on Gavin's range where I haven't actually been up but man breathtakingly beautiful here Washington is showing off um, it's a little bit cold although today we could probably get into t-shirts but there is some snow on the tops of the mountains which is obviously something we don't have in South Africa where I stay at least but man, absolutely stunning here. But anyway, we're gonna get things started here real soon. I'm gonna go have a donut, because when in Rome. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching so far. If you wanna make sure you follow this series, this will likely be three different videos, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel. With that being said, I'm gonna go have that donut, and uh, I'll see you guys when we get things started. <laughs> Say hi to my mom. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna overshoot this. This is sketchy as fuck. <laughs> That's going in the video. Oh, there's a person down there. Like the video just, you'll never get no. the scale of this. Yeah. No. It's like when something looks gnarly on a GoPro, you know it's like seven yeah. times gnarly. Yeah. yeah. This is pretty steep. Right, so on this channel we've had some pretty majestic shooting ranges in the past, but nothing comes close to this what <laughs> that's insane so we're basically setting up uh, we had our training and sort of theoretical stuff earlier today and we were told we're getting one of the new stag rifles we're getting a canic sxf rival s which is the steel one super cool so every single competitor the boys are over there and more people are coming up the mountain it, mr cortina nearly killed us on the way up the mountain with the side by side but it was all fun. <laughs> um, so we're gonna get the rifle zeroed up now. 
um, do some pistol sightings and stuff like that. And the course of fire that they took us through and briefed us on earlier is absolutely mental. So lots of pistol stuff, lots of semi-automatic rifle stuff. I don't know if there's any bolt gun stuff, but uh, for the most part, it looks like it's gonna be a ton of fun. So yeah, we'll get to shooting now. I'll show you guys some of the firearms that we got. Um, obviously mine in South Africa will be a little bit trickier to get to me, um, whereas the other guys will leave here with theirs. So, uh, super cool. Are these numbered? That's yeah, awesome. we need, you guys need to tell us what your numbers are so we keep the scopes and the guns together. Pretty cool. That's sick, look at that. Feels so good. Okay, that's a wrap for our shooting zeroing afternoon. Shot the AR just out of the um, out of the tripod, sort of in a hog saddle type situation, and then we shot the Canic Rival S at that steel over there, and I snuck a sneaky one on that. Um, feeling good. Some good shooters here. <laughs> Multiple world champions in different disciplines. So uh, yeah, day one, super fun. And I actually feel pretty good considering the nine hour time difference. So usually on like day three, it starts catching up to you a little bit when your system realizes what's going on. But so far, freaking badass trip, super cool. And this just never gets old. Alrighty, day two. I'm walking to the nearby coffee shop because I get up very early in the morning due to my nine hour time difference. Feeling surprisingly good. I thought the jet lag would start to show its signs yet. Not just yet, although the expedition to the local bar last night is showing the signs. Um, I did win the darts competition. So there's that. Um, so it looks like my eyeballs are in. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna grab some coffee and then we're gonna head up to the ultimate reloader ranch and then the competition will start today we all have these competitive t-shirts which are super cool and uh, yeah it's gonna be a hell of a day mostly AR and pistol so not really my skill set but we're professional wingers so it should be good day one of the competition at the rock chuck olympics we've got the A team doing some work there with the rest of the guys here, the Ultimate Reloader Ranch and Workshop behind us. Washington is freaking stunningly beautiful. Um, wait till you guys see the range where we're actually be doing the shooting. Um, yeah, it's been a hell of a trip and a super, super cool experience. But uh, the shooting starts today, so uh, let's see. Just two world champions casually shooting against us, so... I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, but I'm just a filler. What you thinking? I'm gonna lose. <laughs> okay. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of pistol, a lot of carbine. There's very little rifle. So it's gonna be fun. That I guarantee it. So I saw you printing some tiny groups on steel with the pistol. Do you think speed is gonna be your challenge? Yes. I mean, I can shoot it, but the, there's a time limit, right? So we'll see. Okay. So if you had to pick one stage as like your nemesis or your biggest stretch or concern what are you thinking it's probably going to be the one with the hidden targets mm -hmm. with the, is it a pistol or carbine that's carbine yeah and so you know i'm gonna have to go and because i'm gonna worry about time mm -hmm. and finding the targets mm -hmm. and trying to make impacts so yeah it's gonna be a balance that i need to find and hopefully i'll find it early on and just kind of coast from coast from there well we'll check in with you later best of luck thank you <laughs> okay so Pete here we are it is competition day one what's your overall thoughts I'm excited uh, it's about time we get cracking yesterday was a little teaser but uh, yeah exciting <laughs> to, to, to shoot properly and what stages do you feel best about and what stages do you feel worst about? To be honest, I've never really worried too much about any stages. It doesn't matter what kind of shooting I do. I'm a professional winger, so we'll just see what comes <laughs> up and I do my best at every stage and yeah, take it from there. But realistically, I think I agree with Eric, finding the targets in like the woods, that'll probably be the most challenging thing. Yeah. And then obviously you guys have a pistol target at 269 yards with the pistol and a red dot. So yeah, that'll be accuracy by volume. Yep. 
Plus, you've got jet lag to deal with, so good luck. Yeah, I'm actually feeling surprisingly good. Uh, I'm more worried about the sort of uh, consumption last night. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm sure with enough Red Bull, you'll be good to go. Absolutely, or just more coffee. <laughs> okay, good luck, bro. Thanks, bud. Guys, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for, guys. Oh, uh, this is cool. Hanging out with all you, going up the mountain. Yeah. This is, this is what it's about. <laughs> What is this place? Crazy. I was saying to Gav, you could do the most ultimate, pun intended, high angle shooting videos here. So hopefully he does one of these for us real soon. Um, what a freaking range. Okay, so the first couple of shots are cracking now. The rest of us are sort of sitting here in the holding cell. It's a blind stage. We have to find 10 targets, 20 rounds. It's AR stuff. So we're basically fighting for second because this gentleman is here. <laughs> but I'm going to end up. But in reality, Eric's over here just you know, coveting that gold trophy. <laughs> so I'll see you guys down there because we won't, you won't see me shooting. So good luck to you. And uh, hopefully Dean. Okay, bye. All right, Pete, you're going to course fire and are yeah. you ready? Do I load it now or on time? On time. On time and would prefer you to not have it pointed straight up when you do that in case we have a slam fire. Whoop! Okay. All right, Pete, your time starts now. Safe. Not great! Might be that one. Hmm. Empty. That was rific. That was good. <laughs> two minutes, 45 seconds. Did I shoot one or two targets that you weren't? You shot one of the wrong targets? Yeah. Well, and you shot it. I don't know what you shot at one of them. <laughs> I shot what I thought was a target, but it's like a, a empty hanger thing. Um, and we're going to do the same time multiplier as we did on the other one. So what is the, uh, the round count? 20. There's, there's 20 rounds 40. to clean it. Okay. And you have 40 rounds available. Okay. Your time starts now. Did you see how fast that reload was? All right, Pete, do you understand the course fire? I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> oh,
Are you ready? Yep, are you? I think so. <laughs> Your time starts now. Oh. That's it. Impact! 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 That was an impact. Impact! 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 Fuck it, we're running. I did shoot that one, right? No, you already, you already got that one. You already got that one. Did I? <laughs> that one. There you go. Hip back. Hip back. That's it? One more more. Hip back. Go on, time. You shot some extra targets there, Pete. Did I? You did. <laughs> Good job, buddy. You shot the same one like three awesome. times. Did I? I like I like value for money. <laughs> right, so we had our first stage. I made a little mistake there. It's probably gonna bite me in the ass because there's only six stages for this whole match. What the hell? Amazing. Same thing on this side. Absolutely incredible. I'm gonna hide behind the the tree here. We'll just do that for the wind. Um, super cool. Then we shot another pistol stage now. And uh, I changed my game plan like on the fly, which is not what you should do ever. And uh, I just sort of ran up, missed my first shot, and then hit some shots. And then my plan was to run one more time and then I just stood in the same spot and I was nailing the targets like far. And because I like changed my game plan, I forgot which targets I'd successfully engaged and then burned some time shooting a target that I'd already engaged. So that cost me a little bit, and then the next stage, unfortunately I got a zero. We shall see, he's a PRS guy, so this is way, way out of his wheelhouse. We're gonna see if he can pull it together here. He did pretty good on the first pistol stage. Yeah. We good to go? Yeah, expecting big things here, Pete. Is that five? On the well, that's yards. not great. Okay, you got 10 points left that one. You've got five attempts for greatness. <laughs> Double tap. You're the first the time heart, the I've head. seen dirt kick up under that target. Oh, really? First really? shot yeah. right under it. Yeah. Interesting. Is that one of those two you didn't aim at all? He was unable <laughs> to connect <laughs> with any of those targets. Okay. How, how Damn it. it! It's tough, man. It's he random. Damn it! it. <laughs> That's a good try. Though. You're Your dancing first, right around first this three, one. I think we're high. Sure. We're yeah, I think so too, yeah. yeah. Because uh, it was a 100 odd yard pistol target and then almost like 260 yard pistol target, so difficult next we've got a pistol run and gun shooting again the rival is it's basically like my rival that i have back home but it's a complete steel body it's freaking sick and um we're just having a fat jaw this is once in a lifetime vibes but we'll do it again next year uh so the rock jack olympics has been awesome and our next stage is going to be run and gun pistol and carbine so hold thumbs one has just picked up like crazy. Everybody's running and grabbing gazebos and stuff down there. You guys ready? ready? Shooter, are you ready? Yeah. All right, your time starts now.
Impact! Impact! Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. How many? But it's only three hits, right? Can I go pick that up? No. You sure? Impact. Lots of time, right? Yeah, lots of time. Remember, you shoot the rifle empty on the pistol empty on the lower turn. Yep. One more round down there? Yeah, That's it? Right All right, of course. We're fine on time. Get my bag down there. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about the last. That was good. I'm happy. Good job, yeah, that was good. 14 out of 20. I'll take that. Good job, man. So we do it, baby. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, guys. Hey, what I tell you? I'm gonna make the stag look good, baby. Huh? Right here, baby. Yeah. That was good. And then I missed the easy shots of there. What the hell? I was like, I, I did dial the wrong way, yeah, so I fixed it and then... And what do you think about the, his... On, are you talking ladder test, you're talking about powder charge? No, no, tuna. Oh, oh, I see. Seen here in his natural food. habitat yeah. is the rock so, chuck bathing in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> and his friend. King rock chuck. <laughs> Alrighty, that is a wrap for day one. I'm riding the quad bike in this incredible country, absolutely living the freaking dream. And I cannot thank you guys enough for making this a reality. I, today is my YouTube anniversary on YouTube. And to be here shooting guns with channels that I grew up watching when I started my journey in YouTube is like I'm getting goosebumps. It is absolutely surreal and I couldn't have done it without you guys. Unfortunately made a little cock up on the first stage, just mentally, I think put me at a massive disadvantage, but we finished the day strong and tomorrow 
we're gonna head into sort of long range precision rifle style events there's two stages left we're gonna give it our absolute best just grateful that's the overwhelming feeling that I'm having on this trip so thank you very much and if you want to see part two and how this ends unfortunately I won't be able to give you the the full scores of the competitors so you'll see what I got but there is a percentage waiting um, with who scores what and what 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 stages are worth with like time multipliers but if you want to see how it actually ends and who wins overall make sure you're subscribed to ultimate reloader i believe it's going to be a multi-part series showing the whole event they've put a ton of effort into filming this with like a whole media team so many camera angles audio and everything it's going to be very special so i'm looking forward to seeing that and i'm looking forward to finishing strong tomorrow morning we'll do a long range stage and a precision rifle stage with the gas guns so it's going to be cool thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the morning Really? I've been sick for the <laughs> three days. Well, that explains why my nose was like completely blocked. Yeah. So, this is what I sound like <laughs> to them. Well, good thing it's not a speaking competition. Right? <laughs> so, we're about to get things cracking on day two. We're doing 300 PRC. Yes? Not no. six, six five, five Creed. Six five Creed. Six, six five Creed. Creed the new stag bolt gun, Gavin's well, six we'll arc, and then two two three ARs. Yep. Out to twelve hundred and eighty yards. Two two three is going to run out of steam at about seven hundred yards. Going transonic. Six arc should get there. Three six five Creed is going to be money. Um, so this is kind of my and Mr. Cortina's sort of area of expertise. So we're hoping to do well here. Two two three is going to be just hopefully we see something because the conditions are like this and it's very green so yep. there's not going to be exactly like splash when these bullets <laughs> land so hopefully the guys on the spotters will be able to give us feedback but that only applies on the 223 they're going to give us no calls on the 65 creed or the 6 arc so we're going to have to spot trace and all of those things ourselves hopefully we get some points here and then next we'll finish up up the hill over there with like a super dynamic precision rifle stage which we're gonna run with the stag specter which is been a hell of a lot of fun i haven't shot many precision rifle style dynamic courses of fire with the ar i haven't shot any pre prior to this a bunch of fun so i might actually run my actual stag ar because i shoot a stag back home in south africa i might actually set that up and do our next western cape rifle club match with the ar because it's super fun Anyway, Eric's going to get things cracking. He is the only competitor to bring a Kestrel. So, I don't know if we get to share this Kestrel or not. I don't know. Are we getting to share the Kestrel, Gavin? Because Eric's the only one with a Kestrel. No, no. <laughs> Run what you're wrong. You're right. He wow. needs the advantage on this wow. one. Oh, yeah. Advantage. <laughs> Real skill there. Are you shooting now? Yep. First shot. That. I saw a dust cloud there. Dangerous. <laughs> Gavin, how is this here if you're curious playing into this? Moves on to the six R. That's right. This is a gun I built. Put on the channel, I chambered it. It's got the MDT Frontier shooter. We've got a six dasher shooter on the line. That's right. Is there going to be some familiarity between those two cartridges? Absolutely. This is going to be the same bullet weight range. This is a 108 grain projectile. 
Pete's probably shooting like a 105 or a 109. I'm shooting 109, so this is completely different. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely different, evidently. He says it's completely different. We're calling BS back here from the commentator. These are some of the pickiest people you'll meet in the entire world. Let's See, what he's doing way. is setting up the massive international excuses here. So, John, uh, <laughs> one grain is one one seven thousandth of a pound. That's the difference between the bullet he was talking about. First shot down range. I think I saw something. Did you see something there? I, I can't see. Yeah! 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 Oh, yeah! Second round. Peter Millard with the hit and the six arc. That's last thing. Oh, nice job, Peter. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Hit! Oh, oh, oh. oh! 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 Personal Lamborghini. No trade. The anticipation. Now, again, shot. for the folks watching at home, we are calling hits and impacts on the AR. We're calling, we're calling everything. No trade. It's got to be tough. You guys are we're really uh, hoping to see somebody come out. You go call. Uh, yeah. No trade. Get on that spot. Because they're looking. This one's going way up. Peter Milan so far leading on the stage. Yeah. Peter Milan. Hail Mary, baby. Last one. Six with two more went. Oh. Nothing. Don't bolt lock. So, I just got off the bolt gun stage. Um, well, bolt gun and AR stage. 6.5 creeds, 0 out of 5 at 12.80 yards. Saw one or two, made the corrections. Uh, we were shooting the new Stag Pursuit rifle in 6.5 creed, shooting factory. Um, so five shots. Then I went over to Gavin's 6 arc that he's done a project on, and I managed to get two. I should have possibly waited because I ripped my third one. Um, while the light was still on and I just tried to send it in the same conditions and I missed it but I've so far pray got the best score on this stage we also were shooting ARs out to that distance but I mean it's an AR at 1280 so really not a representation of what that platform is capable of that we will do on the next stage which will be the precision rifle stage with ARs but shooting an AR at an IPSEC at 1280 yards over these valleys. The Ipsic is over there, exactly where the tip of my finger is. So good luck to you. Um, it's going transonic at like 700 yards already. So it's a 55 grain bullet and it's not exactly not windy. And not just is it windy, it's valley conditions. So it is extremely, extremely challenging. And we've got people spotting and everything and we're not even seeing. I don't think we've seen a single 223 bullet land. This is very, very difficult. PR is next. Shooter, do you understand the course of fire? Yep. Your time starts now. The clock! The clock! Sank. The clock! The clock!
looking at the wind. Kaboom! <laughs> okay, so we just wrapped up, well, I wrapped up my Peori stage. Eric has just wrapped up his Peori stage. He got two or three hits more than me. He smart, snuck an arc rail on his rifle and uh, he, he took a tripod. I made a bit of a cock up on um, my second position. I thought we won't be able to get the elevation with the bipod. So I kind of shot like with sort of a, a field shooting style position and dropped. I think four out of six. Yeah, I think I dropped four or five. So I think, oh, I can't give the overall scores away, but I dropped more points than I should have dropped, but it'll still be tight because I outscored everyone on the long range stage, but only by one hit. So I don't think that's gonna be enough to bring us back. So we'll see. Jim from Backfire, tearing it up. This trip was an unforgettable experience and I want to thank Gavin and his team as well as Rebecca for organizing this amazing event. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure you go subscribe to all of the guys that was featured in the video. We'd really appreciate that. Let's help lift each other up as a community. And once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Always remember, leave a like, a comment and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below who you think won this competition overall and i'll see you guys over on gavin's channel when the full series comes out have a blessed day see you in the next one